welcome today i'm talking about the adx indicator so now let's go to the indicator window to see how to add the adx so you select main charts average directional movement in this so here is the adx so you can see okay this place was two pixel but I took it to 4 pixels so that the ADS line will be very thick so that you can identify it from others. You can see this thick, this thick line here, this particular line. So this is the ADX, this thick purple line. So you can see the ADX value here, 20.69. Now ADX value below 25, any ADS value below 25 shows that there's a weak that the market is ranging adx is an indicator that shows market strength market strengths what i mean if the market is trending the strengths of the trend so now this adx value ads period 14 20.69 the first value there that is the one outside the bracket 20.69 is the ads value now adx below 25 shows that market there's no trend in the market the market is ranging that is market is moving around one particular area adx above 25 between 25 to 50 shows that the market is trending but the trend is not too strong adx value above 50 shows that there's an extremely strong trend in the market so now this ads value of 20.69 shows that this market at this particular point in time is ranging so that is it then apart from the ads line you can see these other two lines this yellow and green line so these lines show when the markets show the strength of the downtrend and the strength of the uptrend so you can see the next value 20.27 that is the value of this um, yellow line this yellow line is called the positive d line it's called the positive d line so and this um, the smaller green line is called the negative d line so when these two lines you trade these lines like the moving average so now the second value shows 21.27 that is the value of this yellow line this positive d line what that means is that there is no the market is the market is ranging there is the market the the strength of the uptrend is 21.27 the strength of the uptrend because this positive d line shows the strength of the uptrend which is 21.27 so how do you trade with this adx now when the ads value with this ads value showing 20.69 you'll be using other indicators to confirm your trade you'll be using okay let's say you'll be using range trading strategies strategies used in trending the markets in trading the markets when there is no uh, clear trend that's what i mean by range trading strategies so now if the ads line was showing something like 26 27 uh, you know that you'll be you'll be using strategies that have to do with trend strategies that means the market is moving in one particular direction so ads ads clearly shows you the strength of the trend if there is a trend at all that is with the number of the ads so these two lines let me come back to these two lines these two smaller ads line that is the negative the positive d line and the negative d line use it like moving average now when the positive line crosses when the yellow line let me use the color so that i can easily understand it when the color when the uh, when the yellow line crosses this green line to the downward side you sell now when the yellow line crosses when the green line crosses the yellow line to the upper side you buy 
So that is it. The main thing you have to understand here is the ADX line, which is the first value there. The first value is the ADX, the main ADX line, which shows you the strengths of the trend. It doesn't show you whether the trend is going up or going down. It only tells you the strengths of the trend. Is that is its range is between zero to hundred. Now, the second one shows you what the strengths of the positive trend, which is the ADX yellow line. The last one, which is eighteen point eight eight, shows the strengths of the negative trend. As you can see. This market is not even trending in the first place, but it shows you the strength of the positive move, the strength of the buyers, and the strength of the sellers. So the main thing, as I said, you have to note here is the ADX values and what they mean. So that is it. Anytime the ADS goes, anytime the ADS is going up, that is when the ADS line goes up. It indicates that the trend the strength of the trend is increasing. It's not necessarily showing you the direction of the trend. Why it's not necessarily showing you the direction of the trend is because now you can see at this point now, this is a downtrend, a clean downtrend. But at that point, let me go back there. At that point, the ADS line was going up, meaning that it's not, uh -huh, you can see, this is a clean downtrend. Now, at this point, the ADS line is going up. So, the ADS line is not showing you the direction of the trend. It's only showing you the strength of the trend. Now, since this is a very strong downtrend, that is why you can see the ADS line going up here. So, now, how was that 20.69 derived? If you, if you touch this point, this, the particular, okay, let me use my crosshair cursor. If you come here, mm -hmm. You can see what is here, 20.60. So that is why you have the ADS line. The ADS is currently, it's showing you the current position, 20.60. So that is it. Thank you very much. If you want to join my class or if you need signals, there's a link in the description where you can contact me. This is FS Blessing.